one. This one I didn't talk much, but I kind of wanted to voice it over. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is the beginning of the race. This is uh, Daytona in the trucks. I uh, haven't had a whole lot of good luck with this one, but uh, you notice uh, there in the bottom left, there's a couple cars that already wrecked before we went green in this one as well. So. Yeah, so here the, uh, I started P4, I actually started P6 and somebody didn't join, so I slid up a, spot, a couple spots there. Uh, the guy in front of me, uh, there dove down and took the low line, and I, I opted to stay up high. It is only a 10 lap race, but uh, 10 laps here is still a pretty long time, so I was doing my best to just stay patient and kind of, mostly I just wanted to make it to the end, because if you can make it to the end, you never know what's going to happen. is 2008 Daytona so it is fairly bumpy uh, a little hard to hold your line here so right there uh, I, I actually I got a shove from the guy behind me going in and it, it, luckily I got enough of a shove it pushed me enough in front and then I immediately went back high. Uh, it wasn't by any means my intention there to try and dive down in front. Not yet, anyways. Uh, yeah, I just I just got a shove from the guy behind me. And, and again, I'm trying to get patient. I don't care. I'll 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 sit here and ride in second place on the outside until you know a couple to go. You notice in there behind me, a lot of movement going on behind me, a lot of people moving around. And again, I to me, I'm just going to be patient. And I was I, I was doing pretty good up high uh, to maintain the spot, even though it was only me and the, uh, the the truck there behind me. Even right there, I think I led that lap. Uh, I didn't. I, 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 I knew at this point that probably probably being up high wasn't going to win me the race if we stayed status quo. Now knowing there's no way in heck we were going to remain status quo here, uh, people get very impatient. And I know I know ten laps doesn't seem like, that, like I said, but and, and maybe if you're running near the back or the middle there, ten laps isn't a lot. When you're running up front like here, like it's crash. Hold your position and, and try not to get wrecked. Still back. Still back. Still back. Still back. Still back. I guess what guys, he's still there. Hold your line. Still back. You've just done a 49.1. Hold your line. Be low. Car low. Still there. So here, I actually made a move, and I thought at the time, I because he noticed there by the crew chief, I was cleared, and I was clear, but there apparently they got enough of a run on the bottom there, and he went to go avoid me and, and, and spun out, and I saved it, continued on in uh, P3, I believe, no, P4. Four, I believe is where I'm at right now. Yeah, there's a, a lead pack. There's three trucks. Now, the interesting part coming up here is I catch those guys. So you'll see there the gap right now, and I know I'm, I'm giving away some of the storyline here. But uh, just kind of go back to that wreck real quick. I I got cleared, and for some reason I thought, okay, now is the time to probably try and take the bottom lane away. I think we were halfway, a little over halfway, and I was like, let me let me try riding on the bottom, just kind of feel it out. Uh, and I, I, crew chief said clear low, I went low, and uh, it didn't work out so well. Like I, said, I, I think the car behind, or the truck behind the guy 
that I went down in front of gave that guy a push. And because then the, that truck went low down below the line and came back up. Ultimately, probably my fault. I probably should have stayed there. I, I seemed to, like I said, I got cleared and I had the wild, wild idea there that I was gonna try and move, uh, try and shake things up a little bit, and go low. Yeah, you'll see here. Like they, they never form a good line. Like they, they, they're they're all over the place. If they had just hooked up nose to tail, those three would have ran away from me. But they were they were moving around so much that they never really formed much of a draft. And I like I said, I ran them down by myself here. And you can see already here, like I'm I'm definitely catching them. Like I I noticed somewhere around this time I'm looking at my relative and my my camera's kept covering it up here, but I was looking at the relative and I'm catching them and then obviously at this point I'm I'm on them. So definitely at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm going to ride here and wait to see what happens. I kind of poke my nose underneath here, back out, and I'm just like, okay, I'm just going to kind of let, let's see how this unfolds. They've, they've been moving around a lot. But yeah, at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to, I kind of, my idea was there's going to be a wreck for first if they maintain this. So I'll just hang back here enough distance that I'm close. I'm on end of the draft, but I can I can uh, miss the wreck if necessary. But that that does change soon. I I, I you know like right here I'm not I, I moved high I think maybe just to avoid the nine. And uh, the Coors Light truck there moved up, and when he moved up, the guy. And first there went to go block and he was not clear and took, uh, took himself out. I didn't capitalize enough on that. Like I, well, I, not, not to say I didn't capitalize, but even here, like I, I had a run and I didn't realize maybe how damaged that truck was in the front. So I just kind of tucked in behind, partly knowing that we together would be faster, but like I, I'm not, I'm not comfortable. I'm, I'm comfortable drafting. I'm not comfortable pump drafting. Uh, you can hit a guy the wrong way and send them. And right here, I don't know where this guy was going. Like he, he full on ran me down, and that kind of ruined whatever run we had. And then he went behind me. I don't, I, I, was, I, I don't know what happened there. Like he may have thought he was getting out of our way, but the guy in front of me went low. And then I went low with him. So, yeah, this is the white flag lap, and coming up to the checkers right here, we end up P3. Uh, thanks for watching, and make sure you subscribe, like, well comment, drive. and let me know what you'd like to see in the future. Thanks, everyone. Well, P3. That's good.